I had a dream last night. It was different from my usual dreams. Usually I dream about stuff that seems pretty real, somewhat uh, mundane maybe, and at most usually frustrating. But I don't know if it was the wine that I had at Thanksgiving feast at Rachel's down the block, or if I had heard some strange story on television earlier, but I dreamt about murder. Dave and I were staying at a hotel in the stream. I don't know where the hotel was, but it was on a body of water. I think it was a lake, not like an ocean or anything. And I remember at some point, it was dawn in my dream, and I went out for a jog. I noticed two good-looking men outside while I was on my jog, but then I went down to the hill to the water. I wanted to jog along the water, but then it was all roped off. I don't even know what the, who the they was, that it was somehow roped off for some unknown reason. It was in even in full daylight, so I couldn't even really tell. Maybe there was no lifeguard or something present to be around. I have no idea. So I couldn't jog along the water, so I sat down at the bottom of the stairs and the water's edge, right in front of the ropes, and watched the water. And a woman came along down the stairs, and she sat down next to me to watch the water, too. I remember thinking that I didn't like her being so close. I, I like to keep a sense of personal space. But then it occurred to me that there wasn't much space for the two of us anyway, since this whole area was roped off. And the thing is, I don't even like to jog. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't even know why I was there for a jog, or what the point was in time of my dream that this jog occurred, but I know that in the dream, I killed someone. It occurred before the dream actually technically started. I don't remember anything about the murder. I don't know if it was me alone in the, doing the killing, or if Dave was there with me doing the killing with me. All I know is that I killed a guy. I don't know why I killed him, but I killed somebody in another room in that same hotel. Someone who I didn't even really know. And the thing is, I was wearing fake nails during the murder, or at least that's what I inferred in my dream, because I thought I lost one of them at the scene of the crime, and the main part of the dream was me looking in a bathroom trying to remove all my fake nails because they might implicate me in the murder. So there I was, trying, trying to remove all of my nails, and these plastic nails glued to the tops of my real nails. And they weren't even painted. They were just like still just white plastic. And I was removing these fake nails that I dropped some of them onto the floor because I was, you know, ripping them off so frantically. I didn't want anybody to be able to link me to the murder. So then I got them all off. Oh no. And I was still working. I still had all the glue left on my fingernails. So I was trying to remove and scrape off all that glue from my fingernails. And then I was trying to pick up all the fake nails off the bathroom floor. And they all just fell like right by it, right, right off of the toilet. And so I was on the a tile floor and I remember I was just picking them up and I was also picking up a dust ball that was a used piece of clear tape that was there. I remember thinking that that was odd because this is a hotel bathroom and the floors are supposed to be clean in the first place every day. So anyway, I kept picking up all of these nails, trying to make sure I got them all, trying to occasionally drop one and then try to try get it back from off of the floor so that I would, I would have to settle and not be so neurotic about my nails. And this, the whole time, the whole procedure, took up the main part of my dream. But once I had all the nails, the only thing I could think about doing was that I could have had to dispose of my nails, or the rest of the dream began a frantic effort in trying to figure out how I can get rid of them in a way that wouldn't trace them back to me. I thought I could just flush them down the toilet, but then I thought that some of these nails might have a chance that one of them would actually stay in the bottom of the toilet, and it would link its way back to me, and I'd be leaving a huge piece of evidence in my own hotel room linking me to this man's murder. And so then I wondered if I'd have to make a shift, sift through the sewer water to the hotel if they could actually do that, if they thought that I couldn't flush any of them down the toilet in the first place, but maybe go to various different public restrooms around the town and start flushing them in different places. <laughs> then I started to worry that the nail I left at the scene of the crime, if it maybe took off more than just the glue, and then it actually took off some of my nail with it, and then I would have actually left DNA evidence at the scene of the crime that wouldn't, there would be nothing that I could possibly do. And then I started to wonder if I actually lost a nail at the scene of the murder, or if I was just overreacting. And then I wondered if I even had found the dead body yet, all this time laying there on the floor of their hotel room. And then the phone rang. And I woke up. <laughs> Dream about order. Sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.